It's really possible for the thyroid to be creating symptoms. That happens all the time. But a lot of times people are dealing with symptoms that are actually caused by the underlying cause of the thyroid problem. They just happen to experience them both at the same time. So they all kind of feel like, oh, well, it's caused by the thyroid because we keep seeing this when there's thyroid malfunction. But one of these issues can be liver malfunction. So to understand this, we need to understand the liver's jobs. Most people know that the liver's main job is to remove filth and toxins from the body. That's kind of its gig. But what a lot of people don't know is the liver takes this filth that it filters out of the body and it puts it into what it's called bile. The liver produces this bile, which is like a soapy substance, and it puts a lot of the toxins into that bile. And then the bile flows down and it's stored in the gallbladder where it can be concentrated up to 18 times. So when we eat food and our stomach acidifies that food, once the food is properly acidified, it leaves the stomach and then the gallbladder drops this bile down onto that acidic product. Now, bile is very alkaline, so when this alkaline product meets this acid product that left the stomach, it creates this sizzle. And this sizzle helps us really bust the food apart and pull all the minerals and nutrients out of that food. We'll come back to why that's important in just a minute. But another big factor with bile is that it helps us emulsify our fats or break them down. Now here's two crucial points to remember. We need proper fat metabolism to be able to create thyroid hormones. And to properly metabolize fat, we have to be able to break down our dietary fats. And we need bile to emulsify those fats so they can be broken down and the body can use them. So the other important point to remember is that those filth and toxins that the liver filtered out of the body and put into the bile, as the bile moves through the intestinal tract, it carries that filth and toxins out and then those filth and toxins go out the back door. That's, that's the main exit strategy for filth and toxins in the body. It goes through the bile and then it can go out the back door. So those are two very important factors. And for a wide variety of reasons, a person's bile can become too thick and sticky to flow correctly. So it's not moving through the system. It doesn't come down and help us create that proper fat metabolism. And it's also not removing all the toxins that the liver filtered out. So this is important because if those toxins don't go out the back door, they get reassimilated into the body and the liver's got to filter them out all over again. It's like, hey, I just did this. Why are you giving me this again? I got to filter it out again. I'm getting, I need a break here. So when bile is not flowing correctly, the liver can get overwhelmed and then it can't do all of its other jobs because it's doing the same job over and over again. So you could have this healthy lifestyle, but if bile is not flowing correctly so that the toxins can be removed, the liver can still be overwhelmed and create liver malfunctions that lead to these thyroid problems.